Ha ha! Hey, what is going on, crypto people? Happy Saturday to each and every one of you. What an exciting time to be an early adopter in this new asset class that is the digital asset space. Listen, holy moly, we're going to get into it. We're going to get into it. Stephen Neryoff reposted a crypto laws uh, video, which I hope everyone has. It's absolutely genius in motion because it, it does speak to what we did as a community and exposing the challenges, the just the nastiness that is a United States entity, three-letter United States entity. So Stephen Neryoff shared this. He said, the SEC has undoubtedly obstructed the progress of crypto and compromised integrity across our industry and the entire financial marketplace. And please understand, just because the SEC is independent, that they just come up with stuff on their own. <laughs> they follow orders. Their decisions consistently fail to align with the best interests of American investors. Uh, what more needs to be said? Holding a position of authority does not grant the license to manipulate and exploit power for personal gain, like we say on the channel all the time. Those who would sacrifice their country for personal profit. Stephen Neria says the battle is just heating up. So uh, here's Stephen again in another post. He is uh, reposting um, the, the, the post from Tristan Levette of Empower US, where Tristan says the SEC is disclosed to Empower US that the SEC OIG internal dudes, internal investigators, is in investigators is in the final stages of an investigation into the crypto related final conflicts conflicts of interest and power referred to in OIG in May of 2022 with William with one William Henman. Stephen Neryoff says kudos to Jason Foster and Tristan for their efforts in holding officials accountable to uh, accountable for conflict violations. I've supplied Empower US with a significant trove of previously undisclosed documents, hoping to aid them in exposing widespread corruption within the SEC and private individuals like Joseph Lubin and Vitalik Buterin. My conviction is that Bill Henman, Jay Clayton, and Mark Berger were deliberately sent to the SEC with the agenda to misleadingly grant regulatory favoritism to Ethereum. This was achieved through several methods. One, publishing, publishing the misleading Dow report introducing an ambiguous and new standard for legal decentralization. That's, I mean, dude, just this whole decentralization thing, what, what in the world? Bill Hemman delivered a speech with either knowledge or a reckless disregard for the fact <laughs> that Ethereum did not meet the decentralization criteria. Four, launching an unjust enforcement lawsuit against Ripple, highlighting a selective and biased application of regulatory oversight. That is the biggest challenge. Again, those who would sacrifice their country for personal profits. That's what took place at the SEC. And until we begin to stand up to that and fight for that with our vote and do and 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 let these independent quote unquote regulators know, you know, these unelected bureaucrats, we have to let them know by way of Congress. We got to put the metal, you know, put our money where our vote is into con if we we don't want Congress people letting independent, unelected bureaucrats do what they what it is that they want to do for their own personal gains. We can't have that. You know, we, we can't have it. And unfortunately for us as XRP holders, uh, the, the at that time, the main charge for the XRP and XRPL was Ripple. 
and they went after them. They went after them big time. And who who gave the final orders? I don't know. Here's what I will tell you: current administration is <laughs> right. Uh, you know, is getting direction from the banking financial institutions. Just understand that current administration. Does it feel like he that person is in in some way able to kind of command the direction of, of, a, of a nation? Doesn't feel like it. So understand where the real fight is, where the real battle is. All right, fam, there it is. That wraps up your XRP Ripple daily news in around zero to 10 minutes. I hope that it has been of value to you. If it has, do me a favor and hit that like button. It is by far the greatest way to help the channel out. For sure. And if you've been hanging out watching the crypto season, you've enjoyed those hangouts, please consider subscribing to the channel. And don't forget to ring that notification bell since you know whenever we go live or whenever we upload a video. I'm going to end this one like I do all my videos and remind you guys of this. Old money doesn't want you to win. But that's okay, though, because you and I, we're already winning. And I would ask you to consider this, perhaps ponder the idea or notion of living your life permissionless. I'll talk to you guys soon. See ya.